All right, now that we have the data, the maps inside your eTrex, a Garmin, Garmin eTrex, excuse me, uh, what we need to do is take a look at them just to make sure that they are in there and also to put a waypoint in so you can find this place. So first of all, turn on your unit and when you turn it on, which is of course this button here, uh, if it looks a little dark, your screen, remember hitting the on and off button quickly allows you to uh, make it brighter. Okay, so that's always really handy. Now, what I've done is I'm going to go through to the different screens and the first thing I want to do is I want to add a point a waypoint so we can find this place that's some of the most frustrating parts for students to do that what I need you to do is toggle when you're on the main menu page I'd like you to toggle over to mark and I'd like you to press that point now that you're at mark what I need you to do is scroll uh, up take the yellow bar up to where it says mark waypoint and then press uh, this guy here straight in and I want you to name it something like CKL City of Quartha Lakes uh, something quick I have so many points in mind I have to go I'm gonna go C and then what you do is you just go follow the le find the letters using the toggle switch K L in my case and then I'm gonna call it CKL 4 because I have so many examples so I'm gonna go over here and make it 4 Okay, and once you have that, you press OK, and that takes you back out to the main menu. All right, the box below is Note, and that's a neat place where you can put comments. Don't need that right now, but you will maybe in the field. Now here, this is where we have to put in the UTM coordinates for that place, that location in um, uh, in the forest. So you press again the the toggle switch. Okay, and then use use the uh, uh, these two arrows to move you around now we are in zone 17 so we're going to go out of there and we're going over to uh, what I want you to uh, put in is 68 okay so let me just move over 68 uh, 0 0 3 1 Eight. and that is okay so that's your first part of the location and then what you need to do is move 49 uh, mine what I'm gonna ask you guys to put in is 49 57 7 9 1 and 0 okay so now you have that, you press OK, and that'll give us our location. And what I want you to do is go to the bottom and press OK. So that's now saved. So now what we're going to do is take a look uh, for the location of these maps, where the heck they are. And if you go, first of all, the easiest way to find the maps, everyone is tempted to go to the, to the um, page here and start scrolling like crazy. It's hard to find on the, on the map page because it's such a large, such a different area from where we're located. So go to find under the main menu. Go to waypoints. Now add right away, and if you have a lot of waypoints, which you won't initially, uh, this will appear and you're going, well, I don't want that screen. I don't want to name something. It's not, it's a search screen. So what you do is I know it's C is the first letter, of course, a CKL. So it finds all those um, waypoints that start with the letter C. And then when you go OK, that's good. Press OK. And now I'm going down to CKL4, right? So that's the one I had just entered. And you're going, there's the waypoint. And then don't press go to. That'll draw a line from here to there if you had to walk there. You don't want to walk there. You just want to find it. So go to the map and you'll see cross grid, grid and then you'll see and you're going well where is that but look at the uh, scale of the bottom corner it's 20 kilometers right so what you want to do is press this button which is a zoom in button this is zoom out zoom in 
So zoom in and go take it down to about 800 meters. And there you go, you start seeing the map being built. Okay? And this is the area where you're going to be. And you see how exactly like you saw on Mapwell? And there it's building. And you will see the roads on there and the, and the waterways now. Okay? Now, as you, one of the things you're going to see is it's going to say for demo and all that stuff. Ignore the words. They're just, if we had paid for the, uh, the uh, uh, map well, it would be, it would be, uh, it would not be present. But since it's a demo version, they have to put that on there. It's enough to be, so you find it annoying, so you buy the package. But do you see, uh, barring that, that you have a very effective GPS uh, layer now, a map, and you can, and when you get there, and where this point is on your map is the road between Kin Mountain and Fenland Falls, where we're going to drop you off and your team, and you're going to walk in the bush, and you can see all that. And we have provided you air photos and maps as a, to carry along. Okay, so that's how you uh, check your point inside the GPS to make sure that it's, uh, check the maps to make sure they're all there. That's it.